Okay, so uh, I ordered this a while ago. It's the Lenovo Explorer. Should be a huge improvement over using my phone with uh, Rift Cat and all that. And it was a little over 200 bucks. It was you can get it cheaper than I got. It was 288. You can get it. I it was on sale even from Microsoft for 200 bucks. So yeah, uh, but it's a lot cheaper than a lot of the other options, and it was highly recommended by Daydream District. Or I'm not sorry, that's his other channel, uh, Mixed Reality TV, who is the same guy. Uh, but yeah, so it was recommended by him as far as the lower end of these headsets go. But, of course, the Samsung Odyssey being the, um, the, uh, apparently the Rolex of, um, these things. And I pre-cut this, so this way it doesn't take forever to unbox it. Unless, of course, something inside of it. Because so I did not open it, but something inside of it is, uh, I don't know. Whatever. So we have this. I don't know what the, I guess it's instructions. Um, it's, this is the boring shit, right? Just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything important and surprisingly it is a cloth and guides apparently you should be able to just plug this in and go which is something that's important to me um, other than the price point um, the setup was a real big turnoff for things like the Vive not so much the Oculus Oculus seems easier but still I like the inside out tracking these are the controllers now the tra the system I ha <laughs> that I had previously for PC VR was my phone, Rift Cat, which streams your phone, uh, you know, streams the um, VR content from your PC to your phone through Rift Cat. Isn't that what I said? Using Trinus VR. Okay, whatever. So these are the controllers. Um, this is the touchpad. Somebody said this has a bit of an inconsistent click which is common sometimes with these things this doesn't seem too bad it seems like it may be a little bit different in certain areas but they said it was just specific I like this grip button compared to what I'm used to see what I had before was this which barely ever worked I just recently got this working and this is a Nolo controller it basically mimics a Vive controller it's small um, it has a touch pad and all this other stuff. The buttons are a little bigger, <laughs> but it has no, no analog, which the analog is cool. It's a little, yeah, it's not the, the best placement for an analog. Um, this seems to be blocking a little bit, but I don't know. I'm going to take the plastic off of that. So i take the plastic off the controller. And the difference between the tracking and these and this, what I had before, was this little ball here thing. So, yeah. And the tracking worked fine on this. But, um... The, the only thing about the tracking was, um... The, uh, field of view of the base station, which... Yes, it, that had base stations. And this, it was a Kickstarter. And this is the base station. And it worked okay. But this is almost the same price. It's like, it's $200 for this... And if I add the $88 and I get a full actual headset, the only, the only difference is I'll probably, with this, I'll probably have the better display because of my Galaxy S8. Um, this has an LCD display instead of a um, whatever. But still, if you have, if you're not experiencing artifacting and all this from video compression, then that should be better. But this is a little, this does seem a little awkward to hold. It's not quite. Um, 100 percent this there's a little bit of an extra stretch you kind of have to do to get to the analog stick the it's not very ergonomic and honestly I <laughs> holding the Nolo controller is actually a lot more comfortable it just doesn't have the analog stick and all that but you get both so that's cool so you can have that kind of oculus the analog stick for the oculus type thing and then you have this it's just the reach is a little rough here only like this is weird it's kind of weird you know it doesn't feel like it's meant to be done that way and then there's a windows controller you need bluetooth for this on your pc so i believe how it works with some headsets other like oculus or anything like that i don't know which ones have the bluetooth but 
the headset has Bluetooth and you hook up to the headset and it sends the inputs to your PC. So even if you don't have Bluetooth on your PC, it still works. Uh, whereas this requires your PC to have uh, Bluetooth. But it does work with Windows MR applications. It will be buying super hot. <laughs> and also apparently works with lower end PCs, just not as well uh, with certain games. So you can play some games, I don't know. My, my PC is, is uh, exceeds the minimum requirements, but, um, what was I saying? It's not like the top recommended specs. I have a GTX 1050 Ti, and I forgot the exact uh, generation of i5, as well as 16 gigabytes of RAM. And it's just a, a PC that I purchased, like a, uh, a Dell, oh, uh, HP, HP, uh, P uh HP Elite 8300, which I upgraded. So, but it exceeds the minimum requirements. I had to add a Bluetooth dongle. Whatever. I'm going to be talking a lot, so if you hate constant talking, I have ADD and can't shut the fuck up. So there you go. Here's the other, other controller. I like the fact that they do differ um, between hands. There's a left and right hand. With the Nolo, there wasn't. There was just... It was just one hand was... You had to guess. <laughs> you have to guess with the Nolo. But it normally swapped. Sometimes I guess it was swapping. And they have this... Um... Oh, that's weird. I think the last time I... When I saw somebody mentioning this... It's a little blurry. Don't get blurry. Um, when I saw someone mentioning this... Um, strap, they complained that this was not a thing, I believe. I think this will just come right off. But they were talking about how there was nothing to uh, get your hand tightened in that position. I believe that's a little newer. Now, all these controllers are basically the same. Most of the headsets are fairly much the same with some little differences here and there. And the controllers are, are mostly just the same. Um, I thought they, there was something about the Samsung one being slightly different, but they have like their own reference designs and stuff, so... So some headsets may be heavier, um, may have slight differences, like the screen may be a different type of screen, like the, the Explorer is, um, was recently on sale, I can't stand that fact that I, it, it, they, everything gets blurry, anyways, um, so yeah, these controllers look fairly silly, I mean, I'm sorry, I wish they would, I wish they could get a, fun, a way of getting controllers that don't look like don't look totally ridiculous. I get why they do it. It's just that I, they got to come up with some kind of solution that doesn't ha make you have these controllers that suck. People complain about this, by the way, and yeah, that's kind of the thing is that, and, and I've somebody pointed this out, and it makes perfect sense. You do want to have some flex here because if it's really like brittle hard, it, it could snap. Whereas if it hits a wall, you know, it's not going to break. I'm, I just got this. I'm not worried. I'm poor, <laughs> and um, I'm not concerned about this. It's fine. Um, you do want to have some kind of flex if you hit something, so that's a good thing. Um, now, I don't have anything like Like I mentioned, I don't have the Vive. I never did. I don't have anything to compare, like Oculus Touch or anything like that. I'm sure they're better controllers, but um, this will do. <laughs> uh, not perfect, but it'll do. Anyways... You want to get to the headset. I will put a, a um, if you just want to see the headset, I'll put a um, thing in the comments so you can see just the headset if you want, if you want to get to the that part. So here we have, oh wait, sorry, there's something else. <laughs> batteries. Oh my God, this is what you came for. Fucking batteries. I got better batteries than that shit. Um, so here we go. The headsets, the Lenovo Explorer, which is apparently going to be the light, the lightest part. Now, it's <laughs> the funny thing is, it, it kind of feels heavy to me, simply because I'm used to the Gear VR, and the Gear VR is fairly very light. And uh, but, so, this is like the heaviest headset I've ever held, because it has all the hardware and the displays and stuff inside of it. So that looks interesting. Um, inside here, oh my God, my lenses are blue. Why? There you go. 
I did that with, uh, I think it was the Daydream, the first Daydream that came out. Hey, I apologize, I got cut off. The last thing I was talking about was the Daydream um, and how I got messed up with it. But this is the Daydream View 2 as a comparison for the lenses. Uh, the second Daydream, which has a higher FOV as well as uh, the um, Fennel lenses. And I don't know why, to me it looks like the Daydream actually has bigger, uh, bigger lenses. So, that's interesting. Um, so that's that. And uh, yeah, no flip-up display. This has that. I'm going to... See, look, it's cool. It's a little... Well, I guess the first time took a little effort, but that, that now it's fine. Um, yeah, so you have the cameras in front here and here. Um, the PSVR style headband, which I think you... I don't know if this dial actually... Okay, the dial goes back and forth so you don't pull it forward and move it back like that. And then you have the HDMI and USB, which plug into your computer, and that's really the setup other than putting some headphones in there. I'll probably dedicate my um, Samsung, uh, the headphones that came with the Samsung um, phone, I'll probably dedicate those to this. They sound great, and I haven't been using them because I use Bluetooth headphones all the time. So I can just plug those in and leave them. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the headset. The thing that people have a problem with, I may cut this a bit. This, it just floats kind of. People have a problem with If I don't have a problem, I do have a kind of a small nose. But if I do have a problem with this, I will cut it. But we'll see. And, uh, yeah, so this will be cool. And I'll bring some gameplays for that. And, um, it's getting a little dark on my videos. Hard to show things. This is a dark headset, but I like the fact that it's not white on the inside. I hate when they do that, but... Okay, so I'm going to end this video like this. I really have to take a freaking shit, so I'm going to go before I shit my pants on camera, and then I have to post that on YouTube, and you have to watch it. So, see ya. Thank you for watching.